and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is going to be a power flow Pilates workout. So it's going to be a full body workout, no equipment needed. All you need is yourself and your mat. So let's get started. So starting in the back of your mat, be a hip width apart. Legs are going to be nice and straight. We're going to hinge forward on your hips, bring your hands down to the mat. Start to walk your hands all the way up to your high plank position, so your wrists are underneath your shoulders. Squeezing into your core, squeezing into your glutes. We're here for five, four, three, two, last one. Keeping the legs nice and straight, push onto your heels. Start to walk your hands all the way back in, and then lifting up the body. Give me a nice squeeze of your glutes at the top. We hinge forward, hands go down to the mat. Start to walk out to your high plank position, wrist underneath your shoulders, squeeze into your core, squeeze into your glutes. We're here for five, four, three, two, last one. Keeping the legs lengthened, push back onto your heels. Try to avoid those hips rocking side to side and then lifting up the torso. We've got one more like that. So hinging forward, hands down to the mat. Starting to walk your hands out all the way to your high plank position. We hold five more seconds, team. So pushing into your fingertips, pulling those shoulders away from your ears, squeezed into your core. For three, two, last one, staying in your high plank. We're gonna tap down your right knee, lift it up. Tap down your left knee and up. So just alternating the knee taps. Keeping the pelvis nice and still in the middle. Core staying strong, pushing into your hands, shoulders away from the ears. For six. For four. Three. Two. And last one, pushing all the way back up into your downward facing dog. So pushing into your heels, pushing into the palm of your hands, finding that stretch. Now taking your feet as wide as your lap. Take your left hand over to your right ankle. Look up underneath your right armpit. Bringing your left hand down, right hand comes over to your left ankle. Look up underneath your left armpit. Bringing down your right hand. Now bringing your feet back in so they are hip width apart. Right leg goes up high to the start. So the hip is internally rotated, so we don't open up the hip. Extending down your right leg. Right knee is going to come into your nose. You're going to round through the upper back. Draw your knee into your forehead. Inhale as you extend, reach the leg back. Exhale as we draw in, pulling the shoulders away from the ears. Drawing that belly button up to the back of the spine as we draw in. Extend back. Finding that nice length through the spine as we extend it back. Three more. Knee to nose. For two. And last one, we're going to draw the knee all the way in. Hold. And then just carefully taking that right foot all the way down into a long lunge. Now dropping down your left knee. Left hand is next to that right foot. You're going to reach your right arm all the way up, so we go into that rotation, thoracic spine twist. Bring your right elbow down to the mat. Reach all the way up, so trying to get that arm past the body line. Reaching up, looking up to that right arm. Lower down, squeeze up. So hips stay facing the mat. Two more. And last one, carefully bringing down the right hand to the outside of the right foot. Now tucking under those left toes, lifting up the knees, so we come into a long lunge. Reach your arms all the way up. So your right knee is at a 90 degree angle, your left leg is straight. Now pull your shoulders up to your ears, slide them down the back and they stay there. So sinking nice and low, opening up into that left hip. We're going to hinge forward on the hips, bring your hands down to the floor in front of you. Then as we lift up, find your back extension, lift your chest. We hinge forward on the hips, lift as we lift up, reach up your fingertips, hinge forward. So keeping the hips facing the front, left leg stays nice and straight, push down the heel. For three. 
for two. And last one, holding it all the way up. Now, squeezing lower, but lengthening through the spine, shoulders down, which is gonna give me eight little pulses. Lift up halfway, drop, halfway, drop. Six, five, four, three, two, and last one, bring the hands either side of your foot. Draw your right leg all the way back. Find the full stretch. Keep that right hip down and carefully lower. Down that right leg. We're gonna go straight into the second side. Left leg goes up high. Hip stays facing the mat. Left knee comes into nose. Draw the belly button all the way into your spine. Inhale, extend the left leg back. Exhale, knee to normal, belly belly draws in. Inhale, find the left. Down the back of the leg, all the way through the spine, draw in. Extend. Three more. For two. And last one, drawing the knee all the way in. You're gonna hold, squeeze in that core. Then carefully take your left foot down, just in between your hands. Now, dropping down that right knee. Right hand next to your left foot. We're gonna open up that left arm, find that rotation. Bring your left hand down to the mat. Reach all the way up, lift, open into the chest. Bring the hand, the elbow down, squeeze up and lower. So hips stay facing the mat. Four more. For three. For two. And last one. Carefully bring your left hand to the outside of your left foot. Now tucking under your toes. Lift your right knee up. Reach your fingertips up high. Come into your long lunge. So sink and lower in the hips. Right leg is straight. Put your shoulders up to your ears. Draw them down the back and we hold them there. Hips facing the front. Left knee is over the toes. We're gonna hinge all the way forward. Bring your hands down to the mat. Then reach, lift all the way up. Chest goes lifted. Hinge forward. Tap. Lift up. Lifting the chest as we reach up. Four more. For three. For two. And last one. Holding it all the way up, sinking a little bit lower. Hips face the front. You're gonna give me eight little pulses. We lift up halfway. Drop. Halfway. Drop. Six. Core is strong. Four. Three, two, and last one, hinging forward on the hips, bringing your hands either side of that left foot. Reach that left leg all the way back up to that three-legged dog, left hip down. The left foot comes all the way down to join the right, and then we're just gonna carefully lower down onto your knees. So finding your box position. So thinking, slightly pulling your shoulder weight blades away from each other, squeezing into your core. Now tucking under your toes, we're gonna lift your knees one centimeter up to your hover box. Let's hold it for five. So back of the neck is nice and long for four, three, two. Last one, we're gonna gently rock forward, bring it back, rock forward and back. So they're really squeezing into that core, keeping those shoulder blades pressing away from each other. We've got six. For five, make sure those knees stay one centimetre off of the mat. Three, two, and last one, coming back into your hover box, carefully lower down your knees. Now our right leg's gonna reach, it's gonna extend all the way back, so reaching down your right toe. Right knee's gonna come all the way into your nose as you see curl the upper spine. Inhale, extend the right leg away. Exhale as it draws in. Inhale, reach, find the length through the top of the head down to the tippy toe. Exhale as we draw in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, draw in. 
inhale reach you've got four for three for two and last one we're going to extend the leg all the way up we're going to hold now right hip stays down we're going to go for a tricep push up so gluing your elbows close to the side of your ribs you want to kiss your nose down to the floor exhale as we push up inhale as we lower exhale push through the hands keep those elbows nice and glued into the sides of the ribs keep reaching down your right toe first back for four, for three, for two, and last one, holding it all the way up. So tuck under your left toes, lift your left knee one centimetre off of your mat and hold, push into your hands, reach down your right toes, draw the right leg in, extend back, draw in keeping that left knee one centimeter off of the mat back of the neck nice and long four three two last one holding it all the way up tapping down that right toe draw it up lower lift six squeezing into that right glute at the top four three two last one hold it up Carefully lower down your left knee and lower down your right toe. Bringing back your left foot to join your right, come into your high plank. We're gonna drop down on your right elbow, your left elbow, so your arms are in two parallel lines. You're squeezing into your core, squeezing into your boots. We're gonna gently rock forward on your toes, draw back, rock forward and back. So keep scooping up through those abdominals, tucking under that pelvis, squeezing into your glutes for six, five, four, three, two, and last one, drawing all the way back. Carefully lower down your knees and come onto your belly. So turning now onto your left side, your left elbow is directly underneath your shoulder. So we wanna be in a nice straight line with our legs to our shoulders. Right hand's gonna reach up over your top, your hips are stacked. So we're gonna go for a side teaser. So we're gonna teach it in two ways. First way, draw the right hip back. Reach down your right arm, reach up to your right toes, let your left toe hover. Bring it all the way back down and restack the hips. So right hip draws back, reach up to your right feet and lower. Squeeze, lift. So we're pulling out of that left side. We reach, we tap, and draw, restack the hips. So harder option here is to keep the legs glued together. So glue the legs, drop the right hip back, reach up with your fingertips, your toes, restack the hips as you come down. Reach all the way up, tap the toes, draw down, restack the hips for four. You're gonna hold it up in three. In two. Last one, we're gonna hold, reach all the way up. Now reach up to your toes. You're gonna make small, little battery with those legs. So point your toes, try to get your legs to knit together and they go around each other. You've got six, five, four, three, two. And last one, carefully lower them all the way down. Now rolling over onto your back into our supine position. So your knees are bent, feet hip width apart, arms down by your side. As you exhale, bring your right leg up to your tabletop position and then your left leg up to join to both your legs, knees over your hips and it's like your legs are resting on a table. Now bringing your arms up towards the ceiling so we find our dead bug position. Just make sure those shoulder blades are nice and firmly planted into your mat. So keeping that in lift your lower abdominals, slide your ribs to hips. As we extend the right leg out, we reach that left arm back. We draw it all the way in. Left leg, right arm reaches back. It draws in. So keeping that imprint, your modification here is to bend that left, uh, 
uh, knee, tap the toe down. If not, keep it nice and straight, it's a little bit harder. <laughs> You've got five, for four, for three, for two, and last one, leave in your legs in your tabletop. Bring in your hands behind your head. We're gonna go for abdominal curls. So as you exhale, peel your head, your shoulders up, reach forward, inhale as we lower down. Exhale as we crunch up, inhale lower. Keeping those legs resting on your table, keeping that imprint. So imagining you've got that apple underneath your chin and your chest, so your chin stays nice and lifted. For four, for three, for two, and last one, we're gonna add in the legs. So this time, exhale, as we crunch up, we're gonna extend the right leg out. As we lower, draw the right leg in. Extend as we lift up, lower, reach, and lower. So trying to get your shoulder blades up higher off of your mat. Every single time, elbows stay wide. Make sure we don't stray on the back of that neck. For four. For three. For two. And last one. Carefully drawing it in. Now carefully extending your legs up to the ceiling. Reach your arms forward. We're going to go for a variation of scissors. So your right leg draws towards your left leg extends away. You're going to peel up a bit higher. Double clap behind that right leg. As your left leg comes up, reach your arms back. And then we peel up, we double clap back behind that right leg. Reach the arms back, left leg comes up. Right leg double clap. This is one for your brains and your core. It's a little bit like rubbing your belly and patting your head. Squeeze up. Keeping those legs nice and lengthened, trying to peel up higher every single time for four, for three, for two, and last one, hold, and carefully draw it all the way in. Draw your knees into your chest, bring your hands behind your hamstrings, and you're just going to give me a little gentle rock all the way up. Now swinging around on your legs, nice and careful. Finding back into your box position. So wrists underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Squeezing into your core, thinking of those shoulder blades pulling in away from each other. We're just gonna start to extend, reach your left leg all the way back. So extending down the leg, squeezing into that left glute. Left knee is gonna come all the way into the forehead. Draw the belly button to the back of the spine. Inhale as we extend. Find the length from the top of the head down to the tippy toes. Exhale as you draw in. Inhale as we extend, we reach. Draw in, nice big C curl with the upper spine. Let's go for four. For three. For two. And last one, we're gonna extend, reach that left leg all the way back. So reaching down your left toes, draw your elbows, glue them into the sides. Starting to go into that tricep push up. We're gonna lower it down, kiss your nose down to the floor. Exhale, we push up. Inhale as we lower. Elbows stay close to the body. Chest stays lifted. Left hip stays down. For four. For three, for two, and last one, carefully coming all the way up, we're going to hold it here. Now, tucking under your right toes, are oh, we ready? This spill is hard. So, fishing into your hand, start to lift your right knee up, come into your hover box, squeeze into your core, left knee comes in, it extends, draws in, we reach, we've got six more. For four, three, two, last one, hold it all the way up, point down your left toe. We're gonna tap the toe down, squeeze it up. We lower, lift, right knee stays one centimeter off of your mat. Squeeze it into that left glute, you've got three, two, and last one, carefully draw the knee all the way in. 
and lower down your knees. Now coming on to your right side, your right elbow is underneath your right shoulder. Your legs are nice and lengthened. You're in a one long line from the top of your head down to your left, to your toes. So top arm reaches all the way up, pulling out of your right side. We're going into that side teaser. So your hips are stacked. So to draw your left hip back, reach your left leg up, right leg hovers, then we're gonna lower all the way down, restack the hips. So draw into that left side. Left hip reaches back, we squeeze up. We lower, we restack the hips, lift your chest. We squeeze up. Now, remembering that harder option. Uh oh. So, gluing your legs together, tap the toes, lower, we stack. Squeeze. So, we want to squeeze into that left oblique. Four more. For three. For two, the last one, we're gonna hold all the way up. Now holding it up, reaching for your toes. We're gonna make those small little batteries around your legs. The legs stay knitted together and you beat them round and round and round and round. Lifting up of your right side, reaching for your left fingertips for four, three, two, and last one. Carefully lower all the way down. Now rolling onto your back. Your knees are bent, your feet are hip width apart, your arms are down by your sides. Bringing your arms up towards the ceiling, shoulders again nice and planted down into the mat. As you exhale, pull the belly button in, lift the lower abdominals, lift the pelvic floor, squeeze the glutes, come all the way up into your shoulder bridge. Inhale at the top. Exhale as you roll down segmentally, further by by further breath. Inhale the bottom, find neutral with the pelvis. Exhale as we crunch all the way up. Inhale at the top. Exhale as you roll down. So just checking that the weight is even on your ten toes, the heels are balls of your feet, and checking that those knees are going directly over your toes and not going up to the sides or coming in. Squeezing the glutes as we come up. But four. for three, so really peeling up each vertebra as we come up. And then as we exhale, we roll down again. We want each vertebra to go nice into the mat. Neutral spine at the bottom, last one. Exhale, we're gonna peel all the way up. We're gonna hold it here in our ski slope. Now lifting up your right heel. Bring your left heel up to join so both your heels are high. Squeeze your glutes a little bit more. You're gonna lift your hips halfway down. Squeeze them up, lower, lift, lower, and lift. So small little squeezes with those glutes, small pulses of those hips for five, four, three, two, and last one, holding it up. Now carefully bring your arms down by your side. Lower your heels, but stay up in your bridge. Keep squeezing onto those glutes. We're going to draw your right leg all the way up towards the ceiling, pointing down your toe. Flex the foot as the leg goes down. We're going to point as it comes up. Flex as it draws down. Point up for six, five. Power stays nice and stable. Three, two, and last one. Take up the right leg. Carefully lower it down. We're going to go straight into the second side. Left leg up. Hips are high. Now powering into that right glute. Left leg goes down. Flex through the foot. Point as it drives up. Flex down. Point up. Flex down. Point up. Good. Four more. For three. For two. And last one. Hold it up. And carefully lower it down. And then just roll down through your spine, segmentally, fala ba by fala bra. So bringing your right leg up towards the ceiling, bring up your left leg to join. Reaching your arms up over your head, we're going to go for that second side of that variation scissor. So this time, as we exhale, we peel the head, the shoulders up, left leg draws towards us, we double clap behind that left leg. 
As the right leg comes up this time, the arms reach up over your head. Exhale as we appeal, we double clap that left leg. Reach back as the right leg lifts, double clap. So each time, trying to get those shoulder blades up a little bit higher for six, for five, keeping that imprint nearly there for four, three, two, and last one. And just carefully drawing it all the way in, bringing your hands onto your shin. Exhale, pull your head, your shoulders up, try to get your forehead onto your knees. We're going to end with double leg stretch. So starting to reach your legs out as you extend your arms back and then drawing it all the way in. Inhale, big reach out. Exhale as we draw in. So keeping that imprint, making sure we're not arching in the lower back. We reach out, draw in, extend, and in. So the lower down your legs go, the harder it is. But if it is going into your lower back, take your legs up higher for four. We're going to hold it in three, two. Last one, hold it all the way out for five, four, three, two, and one. Draw it all the way in. Just gently rock your hips side to side. Bring your hips back to the center. Bring your hands around your hamstrings and just gently rock all the way up. So guys, that was your power Pilates. I hope you all enjoyed it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for some more Pilates workouts.